Mr. Nels. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, you have 66 billion, 66 with a B for rail and IIJA. That's a lot of money at your department's discretion. The California High Speed Rail Project started 15 years ago. Big, big promises in that project. It was supposed to be the, the next best thing in transportation in America. And for the record, I just want to let you know and everybody know that I support high-speed rail in America. I just don't support this project. And here's why. I have a document here. It's the California High-Speed Rail Peer Review Group letter from March 23rd, 2023. And I'd like to submit it for the record. Are, are you familiar with this, this document, sir? Uh, I can't recognize That's okay. it. That's okay. I'll make sure you get I'm aware one. that there's been Fair a lot enough. of reporting. Yeah. This document is nothing more than it's an SOS warning to cancel the California High Speed Rail project because it's riddled with billions in cost overruns. The numbers in this document almost make it seem criminal. And I'm going to quote directly from the letter written to the board members. This group was created by Proposition 1A and is required to report to the state legislature in California on the California High Speed Rail Authority. In this document, the peer review group says, since 2008, a consistent theme emerges. Project costs, schedules, and ridership estimates are uncertain and subject to significant risk of deteriorating. The project is underfunded and its financing is unstable, raising, rising costs and making effective management difficult, if not impossible. Most importantly, more legislative oversight is needed. In the peer review 2023 project update report, it states that project costs continue to rise with no clear end in sight. The current contract values are 97%, Mr. Secretary, higher than the original award values. Phase one grew from 68 billion in 2012 to 92 billion in 2022, and now projected to be $106 billion in 2023. The scheduling on the costs, it says const a construction project was awarded in August of 2013, and it was to be completed in 2018. This is before COVID. Don't use COVID as an excuse. And now they say the current completion is December of 2026. Ridership, big idea, 2009, big business plan, 41 million people. Now you know what they project for 2023, down to 31 million people. Why do they have 110 million less? I don't know. But the report, and, and you need to get this, sir, because you need to see it. The report recommends that the legislature may want to request the selection and appointment of the inspector general be given high priority. This project needs to be looked at. This is billions of dollars of taxpayers' money. It's my understanding now they want $3 billion more from the federal city inner city passenger grant program. And I want to make sure, sir, that we're not throwing good money after bad. The letter highlights that even if the project gets $8 billion, they will still be short of at least another $2.5 billion, even after the state of California funds are included. Have you visited the project, sir? I haven't been to the construction. Oh, you got to get there. You got to get there, sir. This is billions and billions of dollars. Are you willing to invest more taxpayer dollars on this project, which seems highly unlikely to succeed, versus sending that limited money elsewhere? Well, I want to take care. Let me start with where we agree, which is uh, uh, support for high-speed rail in general and supporting high-speed rail in general doesn't you. necessarily mean uh, that, that uh, one would support a particular project because this particular project is in active application for some processes yeah. that are underway. I want to be careful not to prejudice that process. Uh, what and, I and, and, and listen, I appreciate you, sir, and I think this is what we should do. I think we should work together, you and I, conduct a full audit of the project, before any high-speed grant decisions are made. Maybe you can call me up one day, we get on that jet, and we go fly out there and take a good look at it. How's that? <laughs> you want to go look at that? Because I'm telling you, this gives high-speed rail a bad look. It's just costing billions of dollars, and they're going to come to your office, and they're going to request more. i got to move into something else because I have 29 seconds. Mm. Do we have a pilot shortage, my friend? Uh, pilot availability is certainly... We do have a pilot shortage. I fly around a lot of time. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Do you believe that at a certain age that people should be forced to retire, this, this arbitrary age of 65, you think that's fair, that's right? Yes. You do. How about having people in the highest office in our nation over 80? 
I think most of us can agree I'm just that asking certain you a question. professions should like you, flying an aircraft are different. Should we be forced to retire as a president and, uh, of the United States at 80? You know, I think there are a lot of folks here who could do a great job regardless of their age, but Let's I wouldn't necessarily want to fly Let's keep our experienced pilots in the air, sir. Let's keep them in the air. With that, I yield back.